Hi, I'm Nishad and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out our new plugin that's the Magento 2 Key Cloak SSO Login plugin that allows the users to log into the Magento 2 web store in a single click using their Key Cloak account credentials. So for the very first time that you're accessing the Magento 2 web store, you need to enter the Key Cloak credentials for the fir first time there itself. For the second time that you're accessing the Magento 2 website there, there's no need for you to remember the credentials there and you'll be able to log into the Magento 2 web store by just tapping on the sign in with key cloak button that is available on the sign in page of the Magento 2 web store there. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin that's the Magento 2 key cloak SSO login plugin at the users end, how the users would be able to log into the Magento 2 store using their key cloak account credentials and the rest of the workflow at the admin's end wherein I'll be showing you how the admin would be able to initially configure the plugin in the first place and how he'll be able to create the users and the client there and the key cloak account section there itself. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So let's hop on to the Magento 2 storefront first and let's see how the user would be able to log into the Magento 2 web store there using their key cloak account credentials there itself. So let's hop on to the Magento 2 storefront first and then the admin backend panel for the rest of the configuration settings there. So right now you can see that I'm at the Magento 2 web store right now and I'm on the sign in page uh, wherein our customer would be able to log in. And here you can see that we have provided one option for the users of the key cloak uh, to sign in with their key cloak user account credentials there. So here we are having the sign in with key cloak button. Now let me show you how a user of the key cloak would be able to directly sign in with their key cloak account credentials on the Magento 2 store and when they are logged into the Magento 2 web store and customer account will automatically be created and they'll be registered within the web store there as well and they'll be receiving an email thereafter to reset their passwords as well. So here's the Magento 2 web store and uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be tapping here on the sign in with key cloak and we are redirected to the key cloak as you can see and here we need to enter the account credentials of the key cloak for the user so i'll enter john and i'll be entering the password of john uh, at the key cloak and i'll tap here on the sign in button now after i've tapped on the sign in button you can see that we need to update the password and we need to change your password to activate our account at the magento 2 web store there so now what i'll do is i'll be entering the password uh, that I want to set and then I'll tap here on the submit button. As soon as I tap on the submit button we'll be registered on the Magento 2 web store and we'll be automatically logged into the Magento 2 web store as well. So you can see that we have also received one email there and here you can see that we have been registered on the Magento 2 web store and we are logged into the Magento 2 web store there as John Doe uh, with the particular email address and now we'll be able to directly go ahead and access our account panel options and we can go further and we can uh, place the, uh, the orders for the products within the web store as well. So this was the very first time that uh, we are accessing the Magento 2 store or we are logging into the Magento 2 web store using the key cloak account credentials there. Now if I go to the admin backend panel of the Magento 2 web store and I go to all customers here you can see that we had only one customer there. Now we have John Doe being registered as well as a customer there. So you can see that uh, using the uh, key cloak account credentials uh, we have logged into the Magento 2 web store as well as uh, the customer account has been created and the customer has been automatically registered there. Now for example if I sign out of the uh, Magento 2 web store here and I again go to the sign in page there uh, and uh, let me refresh the page there 
and uh, now if I want to log into the Magento 2 web store once again what I can do is I just need to tap here on the sign in with key cloak once again and you can see there's no need for us to enter the uh, credentials there and we are directly logged into our uh, Magento 2 account there and here you can see that it says welcome John Doe and we can sign out of the account at any moment uh, as per our requirement there. Now we also have received one email uh, that's uh, this particular one as you can see here and uh, from here if you want you can if you forgot your password you can click here to reset the password as well. Let me close this out. So uh, this was the workflow at the Magento 2 web store for the users how the users would be able to log into the Magento 2 web store there using their key cloak account credentials and after they have logged for the first uh, they have logged into their account at the Magento 2 store for the first time they just need to enter their uh, credentials there but for the next time that they are logging into their account they don't have to enter their credentials they just need to tap on the sign in with key cloak button on the sign in page of the Magento 2 web store and they'll be automatically logged into their account panel there as you have just seen itself now let me show you the rest of the configuration settings there at the Magento 2 admin backend panel so what I'll do is uh, after you've successfully installed the Magento 2 key cloak SSO login plugin within your Magento 2 web store for the initial configuration settings you need to navigate through stores and then configuration on the configuration page under the web pool block here you'll find the key cloak connector and here you'll find the key cloak configuration as you can see so the very first option that we have here is the enable key cloak so if you want to enable this functionality for your Magento 2 web store wherein the users of the key cloak would be able to sign into the Magento 2 web store using their key cloak account credentials then you can enable this particular option and then the sign in with key cloak would be visible a button would be visible on the sign up page uh, on the sign in page of the Magento 2 web store there then we have the realm here here you have to enter the realm master uh, then you have to enter the authentication server URL now for the realm master here from where I've got this for this what the admin needs to do is he needs to log into his key cloak admin console so let me log out of the customer console there and let me log into the admin console of the key cloak there so here you can see that after I've logged into the admin uh, console of the key cloak as the uh, Magento 2 web store admin uh, here I have the realm settings and here I have the name under the general configuration settings and here I have the name as the master. So I have to enter the same here in the configuration settings for the realm I have to set it as master then we have to set the authentication server URL so for that for the admin uh, path here I'll copy this thing and I'll be pasting it up here under the authentication server URL then we have whether we want to require the HTTPS or the secure socket layer uh, whether it's required or not so for now I've set it as none you can set it as enabled as well then we have the public client uh, you can set it as yes or no as per your own requirement there then we have the confidential port you can set up a confidential port as per your own requirement and for the redirect URL here you have to enter the URL as well uh, the same URL that you have entered within the authentication server so URL that needs to be pasted here and then we have the client ID now this client ID would be uh, accessed from the admin uh, key cloak uh, section so for that you need to go to configure and under configure you have to navigate to clients and under client you have to go to your particular client that you have created so I had created the test client here as you can see the same uh, client ID I have entered here as the test client ID itself and then what you need to do is you need to tap on the save configuration button to save the configuration settings now coming back to this particular section now let me show you how we can create a client to create a client you need to tap here on the create button and you can see on the top right hand corner of the client section so if I tap here on the create client you have you can import uh, the clients as well using a particular file otherwise if you want to click create a single client you have to enter the client ID choose the client protocol and set the root URL of your Magento 2 web store so if I check here is the root URL of my Magento 2 web store 
that needs to be entered here and then we need to tap here on the save button after we have saved the client for the test client let me edit the test client that i had edited uh, then you have to set the valid redirect url so you will set up the store url and the web origins as well so for more details on setting up the valid redirect urls and the web origins you can check the user guide that i have attached within the, the description of this particular video there and after setting these things up for the client you need to tap on the save button to save the client there so that was how we can create a client now how to create a user to create a user what you, you can do is you can go to the users section here you can tap on the view all users to add a user you can tap here on the add user to create a user for example i want to add smith so i'll set the username as smith i'll set the email of the user first name last name and then i'll tap here on the save button so these uh, users can be added manually as well or these users are added when they register themselves at the uh, uh, key cloak end itself so whenever those are users who have registered themselves those users would be visible under the users section otherwise if you manually want to add the users you can do that as well now for the edit users you can also go to the credentials section and you can set the password for them as per the requirement as well and then you can tap on the set password as well so for example i have created this user that's the smith do and i've set the password for the same so using this username that's smith and the password now i can log into the magenta 2 web store there and i can create an account there using my uh, key cloak account credentials there itself so this was the end of the key cloak where i showed you how we can create the clients and how we can set up the users as well now let's come back to the configuration settings so we are done with the configuration settings as well so after you are configure the uh, configuration settings here you just need to tap here on the save configuration button to save the configuration settings now let me log out of the uh, particular section here and let's go back to the sign in page where we have this sign in with key cloak so yes that was much about the video there and i hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the workflow of this particular plugin at the users end how the users would be able to log into the magento 2 web store using their key cloak account credentials Apart from that, I also showed you how the admin would be able to initially configure this plugin from the admin backend panel of the Magento 2 web store there. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements regarding this particular plugin, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.